Hi, I'm Art Gonzalez with Sony Electronics. And here today we're going to talk about our new DWX digital wireless system. What we have here is our flagship model of the DWX series, which is our new digital wireless system that includes a couple of different items. We have a new handheld transmitter, um, which is um, intended for pro sound applications like touring sound, rental companies, and so forth. And it is completely digital. And one of the unique things about the DWX system in, in general is the fact that we not only can get digital audio from our transmitters back to our receiver in very good uh, sound quality, but we also get control. We get control over the transmitters from the receiver, whether it's our full rack space receiver, dual receiver, or one of our portable receivers. We are able to actually control the transmitter from the receiver. And this is a very unique function and actually a very useful function. Now what we have here is our DWM transmitter. And this DWM transmitter, as I mentioned, is a digital transmitter. It runs on two AA batteries. As you can see here, the batteries go on the inside. It has a very nice organic LED display, which gives you information such as the name of the transmitter, uh, the audio level, level, the battery life, I mean, all kinds of good status information, of which gets transmitted back to the receiver on the front display here. Um, so it's two AA batteries. Uh, and also, the other unique thing about this is we also have the ability to now uh, use interchangeable capsules. So we can use up to three of the Sony capsules, so a cardioid, a super cardioid, which are, which are both dynamic, and then there's also a condenser capsule uh, that will be available for this system. Now, it also allows you to use third-party capsules as well, of which there will be uh, probably more than 30 different types uh, of capsules available on the market. So that gives you uh, quite a bit of flexibility in the type of uh, sound that you can get and also the control that you can get. So we have a uh, handheld transmitter and this is actually very new. We also have some other, we have a body pack transmitter, we also have a plug-on transmitter which is more for our portable system, um, but we also have a rack mount receiver which is a two-channel receiver. Also has a very nice organic LED display and on that LED display you get lots of good information like the name of the transmitter, the RF level, the battery indication, all that information shows up here. The frequency, uh, the channel grouping, all very good information. Now one of the other nice things you can do is with this advanced system is you can do pretty advanced uh, channel scanning. So if you go into an area that you've never been before and you're going to be running let's say 12, 13, 14 different channels, um, you can actually go in and do a channel scan. Now you can do it individually on each receiver. Uh, there's what's called a clear channel scan and you go into the menu, you start that clear channel scan, it will actually go, it'll search within that group and it'll give you a list of all the good channels you can use in that area. It's a great feature. And then once you select a channel, the, because we have the two-way communication, you can actually push in on the button and it'll ask you, do you want to send that information to the transmitter? And when you do that, it syncs up your transmitter with your receiver. Very useful. Now the other nice thing is that same functionality can be uh, reached through the network connection. So if you look on the back, there's an Ethernet connection and we do supply uh, PC software that allows you to basically manage multiple systems and also be able to do channel scanning, uh, you know, RF evaluation of a certain area, logging, lots of good information in terms of uh, software availability and the ability to actually monitor the receiver and all of its functionality. So, uh, in addition to that, the receiver also employs uh, just standard XLR outputs, your analog outputs, uh, has two channels, so there's two outputs there. There's also an AES-CBU output on both XLR and on BNC. And then also, of course, your RF inputs uh, for your antennas, whether it's the supplied WIP antennas or we have external directional antennas and omnidirectional antennas. Those get plugged into the back. There's also a DC input, so if you're out in the field and you don't have uh, access to ACs, like in a film environment, lots of times you're doing remotes, you may not have AC power. You have 12 volt DC, it will operate off of that. There's also quarter inch analog outputs for your high end guitar systems or bass systems. Uh, in addition to that, there's also a very small uh, antenna, which is the uh, 2.4 gig antenna that actually does all the control. Now that gives you about a 30 foot radius uh, control area. But if you need to go beyond that, we sell something called an RMU, and that RMU allows you to basically array using the network connection, this RMU, and cover a much larger area, like a stage or a church or a larger environment. Um, the other kind of nice thing is the ability to actually loop through uh, with your RF connections. There's ins and outs, and that allows you to loop up to uh, eight of these systems. So you can do 16 channels without any type of antenna splitter. So that saves you time and money in doing it that way. And also space, uh, if you're going to be putting it into a rack. So that's the dual channel DWR R02 uh, receiver and all of its functionality. 
But in addition to that, if you're not in the studio environment, we do have the portable receiver, and this portable receiver, um, the DWR-S02, uh, and this receiver actually, as you can see, is designed really to go inside of a camera. So a lot of the higher-end Sony cameras have actually a slot built into the camera. So this goes directly into that slot, connects to a D sub connector, and gives all your audio connections and all of your control and so forth comes through. All your metadata comes in, all your control goes out through this uh, multi-pin connector and through the camera. And even on the camera, the cameraman can even, through the viewfinder, actually control the transmitter, like we talked about with, uh, with the rack receiver. That can be done through the camera. So it's a great integration with Sony cameras. Let's say you don't have a Sony camera or you have an older Sony camera that doesn't have that functionality. We do sell an adapter called a DWA adapter that that receiver can go into and then it gives you all the standard connections, XLR, digital output, uh, word clock, powering and so forth and that can be mounted outside of the camera. And of course, as I mentioned, we have various transmitter options, um, but the kind of uh, general thing about the whole system is it's fully digital and the remote control cap capability between the transmitter and receiver makes it very unique. And this is the DWX digital wireless system from Sony. If you need any further information, please contact your Full Compass salesperson or go to their website at www.fullcompass.com.